Hey folks, Maverick Watch Reviews back here with another review for you. Today we have something really interesting. Today we have the Ballast Trafalgar, model number BL3133-01. And as usual, we'll open it up, look at the fit and finish, the features and the functions, the build quality, and then I'll give you my overall impressions of this really interesting watch. All right, here you go. Here's the watch box, nothing special. I mean, it's a nice watch box, but you know, nothing to write home about. Inside you have the watch. And of course you have your instruction manual there you go so there you go that's pretty much it for what you get inside a, a ballast box there let's go ahead and take this thing off all right now i'll go ahead and put up all the specs on the left hand side of the screen and then we'll talk about this really really interesting watch you're looking at a 46 and a half millimeter case it's 14 and a half millimeters thick it's on a 22 millimeter buffalo hide strap. Yes, that's right, I said buffalo hide. We'll talk about that later. It's a 10 atmospheres water resistant, which is 330 feet. It has a date function over there at three o'clock. It has the patented control bezel feature, and I'll talk much more about that later. Uh, it has a rose gold IP coating on that bezel. Uh, it's got a Miyota 8125 movement with a 50 hour power reserve. It does have a mineral crystal, no uh, sapphire here, unfortunately. Uh, fully loomed indexes and hands, and I'll talk about that later. And it has a canteen screw down crown at four o'clock. And again, I'll talk about that uh, a little bit later as well. So I guess you're wondering what is a uh, patented control bezel? Well, I'll talk about it in a second, but let's talk about the basic dial and some other the other features of the watch. Really, I mean, it's it's a big watch, but it doesn't wear that big. Um, I'm personally not a big fan of the canteen crown slash, you know, um, control feature here. Uh, I take that back. I'm a, I'm a fan of the control feature. I'm not a big fan of canteen crowns, but this one I would make an exception for uh, just because it really, really is neat. Um, it's, it's kind of a cluttered dial. You have a whole bunch of, I wish they had made these little minute markers a little bit smaller but I like the size of the hour markers, the hour indexes. Uh, the hands are nice and big. Um, only problem with the dial other than that is, well, two things. One, the date window is a little bit small, and I think that kind of hazard style marking around the date window is kind of like an optical illusion. It makes it a little bit harder to read the date, um, uh, in my opinion. And you don't need that much, you know, you don't need that much branding on this watch. You've already got the word ballast right here. And then you have the big ballast logo over here at nine o'clock. So I don't think they need to use both of those. It's just a little, a little too much. Uh, the automatic down there, that's fine. And what does it say? It says um, uh, 10 atmospheres, that's fine. But you don't need both logos. We already know it's a ballast watch. And that hazard, that marking around the the date window, it's just a, it just makes it hard to read. You can see the actual date wheel circling around and you can obviously tell, you know, the actual day's date right there. So those are my only real pet peeves so far as the dial goes. I like the rose, uh, the IP rose um, gold coating right here. That's kind of a nice little touch. It would have been even neater if they maybe put some sort of markings on this possibly. Uh, again, this is all my personal preference, personal opinion. Obviously Ballast can do whatever the heck they want with their watch. But these are just my suggestions. Um, what else? The case itself is fine. Uh, it's a little angular. I wish they maybe smoothed it out just a tad. A lot of real sharp edges and angular edges on the case, but not a big deal. Um, let me think. I like the strap. That Buffalo High, I mean, this strap is perfect for this watch. You've kind of got that brown matching the IP coating. Um, just a really, really nice strap. And let's... Uh, Take this thing off here. And let me show you a couple things about the strap. All right, one, you can see all the stitching, kind of alternate you know, contrast with the black and the brown. You've got a, uh, looks like you have a fixed keeper right here and then a floating keeper. If you look at the buckle, you can see the buckle has a submarine because this is a nautical th submarine themed watch. You can see the submarine right there where my finger is in the buckle itself, kind of to go with that nautical theme. Um, really, really, really nice strap, man. I mean, I've seen a lot of, a lot of leather straps in my day, but this is really nice. You kind of have these, um, 
these kind of, what are these called? Um, they're kind of like easy adjust spring bars. So all you have to do, instead of going in here and popping spring, you just take this little lever and you slide it down, the spring bar pops out, uh, which is nice. I like that for leather straps. It makes it really easy to swap out your leather strap. The case back, um, you know, really uh, not that interesting. Um, I wish they had maybe done something with the rotor itself, seeing this is a, th a nautical themed watch, maybe made a submarine in there. But if you notice, there's another ballast logo, screen printed, and unless I pointed it out to you, you might not have even seen it because you can really only see it when it catches the light. I wish they had done something more with the actual rotor inside than putting another screen printing of, of the ballast logo right there on the, uh, on the, uh, the crystal. Uh, simple uh, etching on the back, you know, some different things about the watch, you know, it's, it's, it's water resistance, you know, what model it is, all that type of stuff. But nothing real, you know, spectacular about the case back. I mean, it's nice, but it's nothing, you know, nothing spectacular about it. All right. So that's pretty much the dial, the case, the strap. Let's talk about this patented control, bezel control system. Now this is where this watch really, really, really shines in my opinion. Um, oh, one more thing. On the left you see where it says uh, Trafalgar, we come unseen. That is the Royal Navy submarine motto. So that's where the watch kind of gets its you know nautical theme. So there you go. Anyway, let's back to the, back to the, the bezel control feature. All right, here's your canteen style lock. So what you do is you unscrew this. I think this is just so neat, man. All right, flip it up. Now, if you notice, this looks like a helium valve, but it's not. What you do is you push this button once, just push it and you'll watch that valve pop out. Let me see if I can get it close to camera. Push it once, see how it popped out? That allows you to set the date. So you turn the dial, the bezel, um, clockwise, and you'll see the date moving. Okay, which is really neat. Now, if you want to set the time, you push it again and it'll pop out one more time. See how it popped out again? Now that allows you to adjust the hands, which is really, really cool. So when, you want it, when you're done setting everything, all you do is you pop this back in, it resets everything, and now you're done. And then you screw it back on. So I'll demonstrate it one more time for you. Push it in once, it'll pop out slightly. Push it in again, it'll pop out again. And that's how you set everything. And then you just push it back in. You'll hear, you'll feel two distinct clicks. It'll push back in. And then you screw the, uh, the canteen crown back on. There you go. Now you're asking, this is an automatic, right? It's also a uh, windable. If you want to, while this is already, this is not being set, Counterclockwise winds the watch. I don't know if you can hear that or not, you probably can't, but that's actually winding the watch. Really, really cool. And let me see if this is hackable. I didn't even notice that. I don't think it is, but it might be. Push it in, one pop, two pops. Let me try that again. I don't think it's hackable. Nope, not hackable. But hey, you know, it's got all those other cool features, so not a big deal. So you push that back in and you screw it back on. So that's it folks. I mean, that's really, that that's the kind of neat twist of this watch is that um, something, some might say it's an extra step. So why can't you just unscrew the crown and do it the old fashioned way? Is it overcomplicated? Maybe a little bit, but it's a really neat feat of engineering for this company. Uh, being a micro brand, this is one, also one of my favorite micro brand watches simply for this feature. I really think it's, I mean, you, you have to do a lot of research and development and it costs a lot of money to do stuff like this, to figure out neat little features like this. Again, is it overkill? Probably, but it's still, it's a, it's a cool little feature. I do like the fact that you can just manually wind the watch by turning the bezel and, uh, counterclockwise uh, without having to mess with this at all. That, that, I wish they would do that on every watch where if it's an automatic watch, you can manually wind it just by turning, like if it's a dive watch, just by turning the dial bezel, the, the, the dive bezel. That would be really a neat innovation on a lot of different watches. So anyway, uh, if you like this video, do me a favor, click on uh, like. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please do so. I just surpassed 5,000 subscribers. I think I'm at like 5,100 now. I really, really appreciate each and every subscriber. And if you have any questions or comments about this watch, please put them in the, uh, the comment section. It's a really interesting and very well made, extremely well made. Uh, I'm really impressed with this watch and the fact that it's very well made. And I forgot, I almost forgot to try this thing on. So give me just a second, we'll try this thing on. Feel 
I think I have a seven and a half or eight inch wrist. So you might want to slap this on a NATO. It would look really good on a NATO as well. So there you go. All right, let's test out this loom. See what the loom looks like. I almost forgot to do both of these things. So let's zap it here with the trusty mag light. All right, there you go. Uh, really nice loom. It's very well loomed. It doesn't last very long though, uh, but it's very well loomed. Kind of impressed with the loom actually. All right, so uh, there you go. So there's the, uh, the wrist shot and the loom shot. So uh, anyway, folks, again, this has been the Ballast Trafalgar model number BL3133-01. If you want to get one of these, go over to Ballast. They're uh, $490 over at the Ballast website, and I'll include a link for you. And uh, again, that's it. All right, till the next review. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.